G'day everyone, today I'm just uh, having a bit of a flick with some soft plastic to see if I can catch a feed of redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now this video is to serve three purposes. One, I want to try and get a bit of content for my winter From the Vault series. Two, I'm trying out a new sound system, new audio recording system with my DJI camera. And three, well I want to catch a feed of redfin. Now I've got my Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone system plugged in through my uh, plugged into my DJI Action 2 camera. I've got a bit of a tangle here as I just before I even start. But anyway, the line's untangled. Let's start all that again. The whole idea here is that you shouldn't get any wind noise or very little wind noise, and we should get consistent audio. Rather than the audio swapping from left to right to left to right microphone, and the DJI has uh, well, the the camera itself has one microphone, and if it's windy, well, you just get wind noise. It's quite windy now, and I would suspect that I would get a little bit of wind noise right now. So this will be a good test. But the DJI, the Action 2, the camera itself only has one microphone, so if it's, if it's windy, you get poor audio. The uh, power module doesn't have any microphone, so you've got to use the, the same one microphone on the camera. So you get poor audio when it's windy. The screen, mod the, um, screen module has three or four microphones on it, so when the wind blows, it automatically detects which microphone to use to get the best audio. Which is good in theory, but it actually, the audio bounces a lot. It bounces around and it becomes quite squelchy and scratchy when it's windy. So the whole idea of using this lav mic with the, um, the Rode Wireless Go 2 connected to my DJI camera is that we're going to get consistent audio. And the reason I'm talking so much now is because I'm testing that audio. <laughs> I've changed to a, uh, a heavier jig head and a Strike Tiger 2 inch bug in vodka and orange colour. It'll cast further and sink faster. And catch bigger fish. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I've caught one. I've bloody got one. Look, the plan worked. Well, sort of. It caught a fish, but it wasn't a bigger fish. <laughs> Would you look at that? A tiny, weeny little red fin caught on the vodka and orange grub. Well, I'm testing out the audio, and I'm catching red fin, but I haven't quite got to the uh, the feed size red fin yet. Remember at the start I said I wanted to catch a feed of redfin. What sort of bird's that? It's rainbow bee eaters in this tree. I can see one in the sky and four in the tree. All those birds you can see flying around there, they're all rainbow bee eaters. There's so many of them. Wow, very puffed. I wonder what the audio is going to do with this. The puffedness. Big eater right there. Wow. Got him. Oh look at that, just as I was pulling out of the reeds there. He must have been sitting just in front of those reeds there then. Been a while between drinks. Been a while between tiddlers. See you later mate, go and grow a bit bigger. I can't believe the amount of rainbow bee eaters flying around. That's all you can hear, like a One, two on that tree just there. There's two or three in the background. There's a couple out here. Beautiful birds. 
They're Loretta's favourite birds, the rainbow bee eaters, or one of. Look, look, look right in front of me, look. That bee eater, they've just flew over the water there. Here's another one here, look. This is what I was telling you, look, this is what I was telling you before. If you had that animal autofocus on, you'd get ripping photos. Oh, look at this. He gripped me so fast because I lifted it out of the water. He just came from nowhere. I've just made about 20 casts in there, nothing happened. I'm just. <laughs> Is he sitting there? He's sitting there. Got him. I... Oh, he got off anyway. <laughs> While I'm here trying to catch his redfin, I've got Loretta beside me here photographing the birds. There's a lot of rainbow bee eaters here, among other things. <laughs> This wind should test the audio pretty well on my uh, microphone system. There's no way I'd get clear audio with either my DJI or my GoPro in this wind. This will be hard right now. How's the audio? If the audio is clear, then I'm on a winner. Because there is no way I would get clear audio there with my DJI or my uh, GoPro. Well, folks, I achieved two of my three objectives. I've got to test the audio. Whether it worked or not, I won't know until I get home and review the files, but it looks okay looking at it on the preview screen of my camera. I got to catch some fish, but I didn't catch a feeder fish. I missed that objective. In the words of Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad.